In this video, I'd like to explain resonance theory for Lewis structures. If two or more Lewis structures for a covalent compound or a polyatomic ion can be drawn, those Lewis structures are so-called resonance structures. Covalent compounds or polyatomic ions with double bonds are the most likely candidates. Resonance structures do not actually exist. We draw resonance structures to help us rationalize experimental data, in particular bond length. Shown here is the Lewis structure for ozone. But if one looks carefully at this Lewis structure, one could see it's possible that the double bond between the two oxygens on the right could be between the two oxygens on the left if we were able to distinguish among these oxygens isotopically. If that's the case then, that the double bond could be between the other two oxygens, we could come up with another Lewis structure for ozone. These two Lewis structures are called resonance structures. And it's customary to put a double-headed arrow between two resonance structures. Data from experiments show the bond lengths between the oxygens are all the same. This figure shows the two fictitious resonance structures for ozone. And below the two structures is a realistic structure. Notice the dashed line and the single bonds. This alternative Lewis structure with the dashed line is consistent with experimental data. The next example is nitrate. A Lewis structure for nitrate is shown here. We have three oxygens. Two of them have a single bond, one of them have a double bond. If we were able to distinguish among these three oxygens, we can move the double bond among these three oxygens. And one could come up with three different Lewis structures for nitrate. Experiments show that the bond length between the nitrogen and the oxygens are all the same. Therefore, the realistic Lewis structure would be represented as this Lewis structure. In this Lewis structure, we see that the bond lengths between the nitrogen and the oxygens are all the same. The last example I'll show is benzene. Here is the Lewis structure for benzene. And to the right of the Lewis structure is something called a line angle diagram, a more customary way of representing benzene. Like the previous examples, the double bonds in benzene can be moved around the molecule. If we consider that, we'll come up with two resonance structures for benzene. The bond lengths are the same between all of the carbons. Therefore, a more realistic Lewis structure for benzene is represented with this figure. This Lewis structure is more consistent with experimental data for bond length, where it was determined that the bond lengths between the carbon are all equal.